Hey everyone, topping the news this half hour is a Lockport family who could really use your help. Mark and Diane Coughlin were spending time with their two daughters, two grandchildren, and their dog at home on Monday morning. Around 11, Mark thought he smelled something burning in the kitchen. He went to open the door to their garage in a back hall, hall only to find a ton of smoke. Everyone was able to get out safely, but now this is what the Coglins home of 22 years looks like. The garage and roof have the most damage, but there's also a lot of smoke and water damage throughout their home as well. Their daughters, Michelle Coglin and Kathleen Nevin, set up a GoFundMe to try to help their parents out with a goal of $15,000. They say their parents also each have their own medical needs they are trying to attend to. Michelle says it's been a really tough week, constantly worrying about her parents and thinking of all the memories they made uh, there on Mapleton Road. The good thing is everyone is safe and things can be replaced, but you know, it's it's our home. It, it's their place. It's their sanctuary. You know, my, my parents spend all, all of their time there and, you know, that used to be our, our family time for parties to to watch all the Bills games and, and you know, even the Bandits games. You know, online late, lately with COVID, you know, you know, having the ability to watch bandits online, like it, it used to be the, the the party house for our family. Everyone would get together, um, and you know, it's it's just terrible to to take a walk through and see what what has happened. Both Michelle and Kathleen tell me they couldn't be more thankful for neighbors who have already been dropping off food and even some clothes to Mark and Diane, who are staying with family in the meantime. And firefighters are still working to determine what caused that fire. If you'd like to help out the Coglins, we have the GoFundMe on our website. There's a whole list of daily essentials they need just to get by. Reporting in the studio, Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.